Hello all. In this video on just quant, we'll see how to mentally calculate the value of a percent of b. To start with, the value of a percent of b is mathematically given as a times b by 100. From this definition, we can see that the technique to quickly calculate the value of a percent of b depends on the calculation of the product of a and b. For example, 9% of 50 is obtained by multiplying 9 by 50 which gives 450 and this when divided by 100 gives us 4.5 right similarly 15% of 70 is obtained by multiplying 15 by 70 which gives 1050 which when divided by 100 is 10.5 from these two examples, we see that the value of A percent of B is mentally obtained depending on the product of A and B. But then, it is not always as easy as in these two examples to calculate the product of A and B. For instance, in calculation of 23 percent of 45, we may not quickly calculate the product of 23 and 45 using the normal multiplication. But in Vedic math, we use a technique to perform this multiplication mentally. Let's now have a look at the Vedic math technique to calculate the product of A and B and then use it to solve the problems of the kind A percent of B. The Vedic math technique that we are going to use is known as vertical and crosswise or the Uddhva Sutra. Let's now understand how this technique is applied to calculate the product of two digit numbers. Let n1 be equal to ab where b is the digit in the units place and a is the digit in the tens place. And similarly n2 is equal to cd. Now the product of n1 and n2 is obtained by first multiplying p and d and then taking the product of a and d and adding that with the product of c and b. and then taking the product of A and C. Let's now apply this technique to calculate 23% of 45. We'll solve this by first taking the product of 23 and 45 by using the vertical and crosswise technique and then dividing the result obtained by 100. Now, as per the vertical and crosswise technique, we first multiply 3 and 5 which gives us 15. So we write 5 in the units place and 1 goes as a carry. In the next step, we add 2 times 5 with 3 times 4 which gives us 22. And this when added to the carry 1 gives us 23. Hence 3 is written in tens place and 2 goes as carry. Next we multiply 2 with 4 and add that to carry 2 which gives 10. Now 23% of 45 is given by 1035 by 100 which is 10.35. So here uh, we had a look at the multiplication of two two digit numbers. Let's now see how a vertical and crosswise technique can be used to multiply two three digit numbers. Vertical and crosswise technique applied on three digit numbers. Let n1 and n2 be two three digit numbers. Now according to the vertical and crosswise technique, we first take the product of C and F and then we add B times F with C times E b times f with c times e. Next we add a times f, c times d and b times e. Next we add a times e with d times b. And the last step is to find A times D.
Let's now see how this technique is applied to calculate the value of 46% of 750. So here we first multiply 0 times 6 which gives us 0 in the units place after which we add 5 times 6 with 4 times 0 which gives us 0 in the tens place and 3 goes as carry. Then we add 7 times 6 with 0 times 0 and 5 times 4 which gives us 62. This when added to 3 gives us 5 and 6 as carry. Then we multiply 7 times 4 and add that to 5 times 0 which gives 28. This when added to 6 gives 34. Hence we write 4 here and 3 goes as carry. At last we multiply 7 times 0 and add that to the carry 3 which gives us 3. Hence we have 46% of 750 is 34,500 divided by 100 which gives us 345. I hope this was clear. Let me quickly end this video by summarizing the vertical and crosswise technique on 2 digit, 3 digit and 4 digit multiplication. The steps required to perform 2 digit vertical and crosswise multiplication is shown in the following diagram. We first multiply the rightmost 2 digits and then we cross multiply and add the results and then we multiply the leftmost 2 digits. Similarly, 3 digit multiplication is shown in this particular figure and 4 digit multiplication is shown over here. You can pause the video and have a look at each of these steps. Okay, this would be step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I hope uh, these steps will help you in uh, calculating percentages faster. Thanks for watching.